Hello, hello everyone. So this is Chris Hewitt here. Um, it has been quite a long time since I made a video. I think it's been about two and a half months, but I just haven't really had much to say, I guess. Um, it's been an interesting few months, I have to say. Uh, a lot of unfortunate stuff has happened. I could, I guess you could say in my career, I just am not really enjoying myself thoroughly. So I'll be, you know, upfront and honest about the things that are on my mind because I feel like that's just the most important factor when you're just talking about things that are affecting your life. So, uh, a couple changes. First of all, hair is a little bit different. I got different glasses and I am sporting quite the beard now. Um, I've been growing this literally since my last YouTube video because I haven't even shaved this part. I just trimmed it and then, you know, just worked it on that sort. So there's that. The room in the back is just, ugh, it's just messy because I've been focusing on basically everything that's in front of me, you know, my computer area where I mostly look. So, but, um, going back to August, I was in a show called The Masked Canary. I played for that one. That went just fine. Then I played for a show called Chicago. I did 16 performances of that. And that went well for the most part. That was in September, like I was saying. Then I was music director for Rocky Horror Show. And that was, uh, yeah. That one, yeah. I don't really know how to talk about it, um, without offending people. It just didn't work out the way I hoped it would. I had such high hopes for it, and I really thought I put a lot into it as music director. It was my first music director job ever, but I don't know. I guess it just didn't work out the way I had expected. So, um, yeah, now I'm on to something much happier. I am on to Tommy the Musical with uh, the Missouri Street Theater, and this is going to be in Sonoma, and I've actually just performed the third performance of it uh, just tonight and we uh, there's 11 performances total and I'm playing eight of them it is just the best music ever I love the music of the who um, it was written in 1969 and put, turned into a Broadway musical in 1993 and it's just the music is so great there's songs like uh, sensation there's pinball wizard there's Amazing Journey, It's a Boy, which is where they talk about Tommy, which is the main character. And I've just got such a great vibe from this show. I felt so great. It's just, it is my go-to show, my go-to musical soundtrack for when I'm feeling down, which was definitely the car ride back I was reflecting on the last few months. Also, piano studio-wise, I am down to a very little uh, 11, 12 students, which doesn't really phase me too much because I'm working more on shows now. Instead of just being a piano teacher and, you know, just working on stuff like that, I am trying to music direct shows. And the great thing is I have um, two shows that I'm music directing next year with the Pacifica Spindrift Players. One is Cole Porter's Out of This World and the other is West Side Story by Leonard Bernstein. And so I'm really excited for both of those opportunities. And then I'll also hopefully be playing Tommy the Musical in March of 2015 with the St. Mary's High School. If you're wondering why my face is changing color every few seconds, it's because my computer has a screensaver that changes uh, some of its default images. <laughs> so, changing hands again. Um, I'm mad at my current camera, which is why I'm filming with my iPhone right now. I don't know if it the quality will be that good. Kind of looks a little fuzzy to me, but hey, you live some, you live some. What am I trying to say? <laughs> so guess what? It's my birthday. I'm 25 today. Uh, it's 321 in the morning and here I am making a video. I'm not doing church in the morning and that is totally fine by me. Uh, and I only have one gig today. Instead of playing Tommy the Musical, which is scheduled, I am going to be going up to Sonora, not Sonoma, to play an original composition by our choir director for the Sonora Master Cru. So we'll be doing that, so that'll be fun. Um, I need to change some of my ways in terms of eating habits and Starbucks habits. Uh, I haven't been doing much of that, so I really get a little upset when I think about that. But, um, I don't know, things aren't really as bad as I kind of make them seem to be, because I've, I've posted a lot of seemingly upset and depressed statuses on Facebook lately, but... I mean, overall, life is just kind of kind of chugging by, chugging by. I don't know how to describe it. Um, I don't know. I've just had a little bit of difficulties, even with um, some of the other gigs that I've been doing, like my Modesto Symphony Orchestra gig, you know, is a little bit uh, difficult. I, I really need to work hard on that. And I think that'll be fine. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, I got, you know, Thanksgiving is around the corner, then the holidays will happen, which will be great. I just want to work on new projects. I want to compose more. I want to do another album. And I want to actually make a rock album, which I think would be really exciting. Because after hearing Tommy the Musical, I've been really inspired to write some rock music and have drums, bass, and guitar back up some of the melodies and some of the ideas that I have. And I've actually thought of putting my Time of Tranquility album to the rock genre and, you know, seeing how something like Prelude in A-flat, which is the title track of my album, seeing how that would go with the rock kind of feel instead of just being new age. So, uh, you know, I think that's kind of exciting. Um, and then, you know, 2015, I will o welcome with open arms because I'm super excited for the new year. It'll be a year why I turn 26, which is cool too. Uh, you know, I just, I'm ready to feel more my age and not be so in the college area of age, which is 18 to 22. I guess you could consider that the bachelor of <laughs> degree time. Um, and my priorities in life and my uh, goals ch seem to change on a daily basis. Um, you know, a few weeks ago, I really wanted to pursue a master's of music and piano performance and a doctorate even, a DMA, a Doctorate of Musical Arts. But now I just want to do shows. I just want to do shows. I want to music direct. I want to... I want to go to New York and pursue it on Broadway. I just don't really know how to do that. So, you know, any tips you can give me would be great. I just know it's all about networking and about who you know and just being the best you can be at your instrument and having the most experience you can have. So I'll be working on that a lot and just seeing how that'll work and doing as many shows as I can in this area because I still have my dozen students. I still have Holy Cross and the Cathedral, still have Modesto Symphony Orchestra Chorus this year, and, you know, I, I can make do with what I can do. And I'm also still working with Sonora Master Chorale and also Heritage Choir Accompaniment, so, you know, as their accompanist. So, you know, things are fine, I guess. Um, it's <laughs> just when you have a show that runs at, in you know, until 10, 15 at night and you have a long drive, it's hard to go to bed early, which is what I am trying to do. But then again, I'm just, I'm a night owl by, by trade, so we'll see. Uh, this is the end of this update. Um, I don't even know what video log number this is. I might not even call this a video log, but um, yep. New things are in store for the future. I hope to be excited for the future. I am 25 now, so happy birthday to me, woot woot. <laughs> uh, just going to hopefully have a relaxing evening, uh, maybe go home, see some of the family and stuff. And then I'll be ready for work on Monday morning. All right. So hope everyone's doing well. Please subscribe because I really want to be making more of these videos. And that would definitely encourage me. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.